you can argue and complain about things. And then at that point, you can say, if you don't do, you won't be. But to wait till the last 90 days after you didn't have four days under the tyranny of Donald J. Trump? Come on, man. You tripping. I ain't mad at you, Charlemagne. I ain't finna do the, oh, man, you stupid. Oh, man, you make me stupid. I'm not doing that, man. We not doing that. We not gonna do that. But what we are going to do is this. We're going to organize. We're going to, we're going to organize in our local community, galvanize the Africans in the United States of America, come up with an agenda for the Africans in the United States of America. And then we will move forward and like I, I've been telling y'all since this thing started. You don't like Joe Biden. You don't like Sister Harris. Cool. Are they, I have one question. Are they better than what we have? We have binary choices. This or that. Is what they offer better than what you have? And if the answer is yes, then you pinch your nose, deal with it, and you only have to deal with it for four years. Now, over the next four years, your job really starts Wednesday morning after the election. Because you and your team of citizens, your citizens brigade, your social, your social activists, y'all need to be blowing on somebody so they can blow on Kamala and Joe Biden. So the first hundred days in office, you can get some things done. Because believe it or not, the way politicians work, politics work, the first 100 days in office is when everybody in the entire world is paying attention to the president. And if you don't believe me, if they replace Donald J. Trump, you will hear them speak about the first 100 days. Point blank period. So when you hear Ice Cube and you come up with something in in June and the election is in November, it almost makes me go, what, you getting a check, bro? Diddy, you getting a check? Because both of you probably worth $100 million ice cube. Diddy worth about $800 million. Charlamagne worth about ten million or $15 million. You guys seem to be intelligent people. So that means y'all knew we was getting our draws kicked in the ass two years ago or a year ago. Y'all could have came up with this a year ago and then be forcing them into something. You know, like Ice Cube ain't just getting up tomorrow morning and driving down to the Paramount lot and say, hey, I got a new idea. It's called dude sitting in front of his house. Nah, he writing out a script. He, him and DJ Pooh getting together. They doing whatever they do like they did when they wrote Friday. And then they're going to get a crew together to do it. And then they'll tell Paramount or one of these big time lots. That's what we on. Y'all want, want in. And then you move forward like that. Diddy, you don't just wake up one morning and be driving down the street and go, I want to make, make a band. You had a whole TV show. You had months of auditions. You, pick, you went through this whole process to get to the band. And then you picked out five or six people and then you molded them into a band and then you disbanded it and kept the people who could be beneficial to you. That's how you do it. Charlemagne, you don't just invite anybody up to the show. You know what you do? You vet those people. And I, and I do remember on several occasions whereas they had somebody on that show Envy and Yee wanted them you didn't want them, and you didn't show up and publicly say, I don't mess with dude. They can interview him. I'm not rocking with him. That means you did research on that person, or you knew the person, you did, you knew the background on that person, and you knew ain't, it ain't nothing I need to be talking to him about. But now, y'all coming with this knee-jerk reaction for six months in front of the election, and y'all want us to jump on the bandwagon and rock with y'all. Again, this is what's starting to make me believe that y'all getting a check out the deal or something. It's, it has to be. Y'all not that stupid. I know y'all not that stupid. And if y'all not getting a check, I'm going to need y'all to tighten up that. I'm going to need y'all to tighten up. 
I shouldn't be wondering if you're getting a check if you're not getting a check, bruh. Flat out. If y'all not getting paid off the, uh, to, to, to cut us off at the knees with this propaganda, then we need y'all to uh, show and prove, man. For real. Because this is starting to look stupid. Flat out, man. Y'all not talking about no no, no long-term goals. Look, man. And this is just H-Rap off the cuff. This is a 10-year project, man. At a minimum. It takes 10 years to fix what's ailing us. 10 years. We don't even need, I keep telling y'all, we don't need everybody. And again, me and my man Drastic was talking about this today. And he didn't even, you know, I know he was thinking, ah, man, you ain't say that. But yeah, I did say that. You can look up twenty dollars supposed to be 40 million of us, right? $20 a month, right? If it's 45, 50 million of us, just say $20 a month times 12. There you go. 20 times 12, right? That's $240 a year, right? $20 times 12 is $240 a year. Multiply that 240 by 10 million dollars. By 10 million people. I'm sorry. Do y'all know? That's a that's two billion four hundred million dollars. If we all got if if just just the good hard work of some of the good hard work of people in America created a benevolent fund that we would pour into every year. We and we only did twenty dollars. At the end of the year, we got two million four hundred, two billion four hundred million dollars to create youth centers, to create our school programs, to create to support HBCUs and so forth and so on. We did that for ten years. Twenty dollars a month for ten years. Where will we be? Guess what we would have? We would have the ability to employ people who are watching our organizations to watch our politicians to make sure they're doing things of that nature. We'll have the ability to groom the next group of doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, or whatever that we need to be the healthiest we can be and protect them, protection from the law. We would have better academic programs to help our young people excel and prevail. $20 a month. That's all we need. Uh, Urban League, NAACP, uh, uh, Operation Push, uh, the Action Network. Why y'all ain't come up with this shit? Two million four hundred twenty dollars. It is nobody who listening to me that don't have twenty dollars every month to just kick in for the betterment of your community. You don't. Nobody can say that. Cause guess what? If you've been outside your house today, there is a very good chance that you blew twenty dollars today. There is an extremely good chance that you blew twenty dollars today. So, if that's the case, then there you go. If that's the case, there you have it. But Nah, you, you, we, we see, we want to make mountains out of molehills, out, out of what will be molehills. Oh, how we going to do it, man? Because it's, uh, it's, I promise you, it is a dude somewhere or a woman somewhere listening to me going, yeah, that's a pipe dream because, okay, what's your plan? 773-797-2409. What the hell is your plan? And we going to roll with that then. But nah, you just know how to shoot down ideas. You don't come up with it. Because you're a smart guy or a woman. Be a smart guy. Don't be a smart guy. So, Charlemagne, Q, Diddy, I know y'all got the ability to do this. Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Because you need political power. You need to be grooming the next alderman, governor, 
senator, mayor, state rep, state, you know, the local politicians and national politicians. You need to be grooming them right now. It's a 17, 18 year old boy or woman that they ready. They, they, they're locked in. We need to get behind them. Young brother who running for mayor, Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was activated years ago. And now he running for mayor of the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Anybody who don't understand the, uh, the historical reference of the Tulsa thing, then you'll understand where I'm coming from. You will understand why I'm even bringing that up. But he was activated at age 13, helping his dad. So, this did, he didn't become activated four months before the election. He didn't jump in the middle of it like the homie Kanye. Sister Red Beauty said we need our own land to grow fruits and vegetables. We need the same land our ancestors built on, uh, built on the sweats of their backs. They ain't crops for others so we can rent free uh so we can live rent free and build our own homes for starters thank you dj red beauty exactly that's exactly the type of thing that we need exactly that's exactly the type of thing we need but guess what if we created an organization and had it was 10 million strong we put 20 dollars of money into it that's that that's that's the equivalent of them, the random bags of chips and, and and the sodas that we drink. That's that's the that's the that's the same thing. <clears throat> the government never wants anybody to be self sufficient. They want the poor to always be poor. Shout out to Red Beauty. She is not lying. But the thing is, what we can do again, one of us, two of us, ten of us, or a hundred of us can organize. And come together and spend that twenty dollars a month, put it in the same pot. You know, see, if you're not if you're not happy with the most honorable Louis Farrakhan, if you're not active, happy with the Reverend Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, if you're not happy with whatever whatever actor it is, Tamika Mallory, or or or, 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 or the brother Maison, or, or Reza Islam, Al West, or or T D Jakes in the South. Or, or whoever is the prominent activist in your community, hey, here's your shot. Step up. Because think about it like this. Two billion four hundred million dollars. At the end of the year, you can be you can live ghetto fabulous with running that organization and hook up everybody in the country in ten years. Because look, over that ten year period you're also going to be finding people like Val Demings down there in Florida, Stacey Abrams in Georgia, and other people throughout the United States of America who are activated and organized in your community. And you're going to be funding their programs. You're going to be funding after school programs. You're going to be teaching history to empower the Africans that are, that are in your community. And the reason I don't say black folks is because we are Africans. See the thing is, other people and are oh, you oh well what country you know it's, it's the, the sarcastic brother or sister in the, in the background. Well, what country are you from? Uh, when you when you leave the United States of America and you say, I'm from the United States, they don't say what state you from. Further dividing you from your ancestors. You see, because when you realize again, quote Marcus Garvey, what an African can do, an African has done. This whole thing about civilizations and civics was created by you. Shout out to Lori Favors. That muscle has, has atrophy due to the oppression, due to discrimination and the tyranny that you faced over the last 400 years. Therefore, all you have to do is start exercising that muscle. And all of a sudden, the things that we invented, mathematics, astrology, uh, 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 Mathematics, astrology, uh, uh, science, and things of that nature, it all comes back. And then you uh, uh, will, uh, uh, once that comes back, you're unstoppable. Wood is free, it's in the trees. The uh, Mormons 
make their own furniture. 